The Chelu Group out of San Diego has shipped their 47-foot traditional Chamorro canoe called a Sackman to Guam for Festpack. Here's more. A 47-foot long, 3-foot wide traditional Chamorro sailing canoe called a Sackman is now at the Aganya Boat Basin. Thanks to the help of the Matson Navigation Company, the canoe was shipped from San Diego to Guam for the upcoming Festpack in May. The canoe was built by the Chetlu Group. Master carver Mario Borja says the journey actually began back in 1995 in San Diego. It began when we heard about the arrival of uh, Hokulea, a Hawaiian double hull canoe. We prepared to, um, to greet that canoe by building a 12-foot galaidi. Borja says they were shocked to see that the 67-foot Hokulea was much larger than the Galaidi. That's when Borja and other members of the Chelu group began to do research with the help of the late Carlos Pangolin and Titano on the traditional Chamorro canoes that were used until the Spanish stopped Chamorro canoe building during their colonization of the Marianas. What they found was that there were various sizes of canoes, the largest called a Sackman. A British sailor named George Anson, commander of the Centurion, captured a canoe in 1742 and had his draftsmen prepare a diagram of the Sackman. That diagram is the basis of construction for this Sackman from a 125-foot redwood log. In anticipation of building the large one, we built small canoes, many small canoes, so that we could build up our confidence and learn the mathematics involved and, and also learn the tooling required and the craftsmanship needed. With a group of what Borja calls misfits of various trades, it took a year to build this Sackman. It was just the right... Uh, right uh, mix of, of different uh, backgrounds that made it happen. Once it was finished in March of 2011, they had to learn how to sail it. They weren't sure how well it would perform, but they soon found out that the ancient design of their ancestors held true to today. When we first took it out, uh, it, it amazed us, and our pride grew from uh, maybe a minus five percent to a hundred thousand percent because it, we we were so proud that here we are a bunch of misfits they were able to build a canoe and it was really a a, a work of um, the many hands and many hearts but one spirit one spirit Bora says they've hit 15 knots with training sails but now with a larger sail he believes they can hit up to 21 knots or 23 miles per hour on land At, now about 8.5 knots, it starts to hydroplane. And I'll tell you what, with, uh, when it starts to do that, you could feel the uh, adrenaline flowing because it wants to kind of fly, you know, the flying pro, it wants to jump out of the water. The canoe weighs 5,600 pounds, but it can float in 18 inches of water or 24 inches when fully loaded. Despite what the uh, colonial period uh, tried to do to uh, snuff out the seafaring culture of our island, the presence of this canoe is testimony of that resolve that we are slowly but very surely uh, recuperating and we will muster the energy and uh, the resources of the land to bring back our seafaring culture, indeed. Borja says that this canoe has already inspired various Native American groups in California to begin reviving their traditional seafaring methods as well.